Okay guys, so I made a video. I ordered my first uh, PC that's pre-built uh, from the Lavono website. Uh, this article from IGN got me, got me interested in it. So uh, I sat on it a couple of days after this, uh, after after a couple of days of research on it, 460. Uh, the 460 uh, RTX 460 graphic card uh, got a, gets a lot of flag apparently. That's new to me. This PC thing's new. I just I didn't really pay attention. Been an Xbox and PlayStation user for a decade now. I dabble here and there with when it comes to PC and stuff like that. But I decided to jump on it because I'm hearing about the PS5 rumors from Digital Foundry and all that. I know I should have taken their um their opinion is not law, but you know, it's something to think about if the if the PS5 um they didn't say this, but someone else I forgot I forgot where I got this quote, but the PS, they're making a pro version for all these games, and most of these games are coming out buggy, need need more updates. It's not a full experience like that, and they're already coming out of the pro, and that doesn't make sense to me. And more controversy is that Hellblade is going to be 30 frames per second on, on consoles, but they didn't mention about PC, and I'd be shy if they do 60 frames on PCs. Like, that doesn't make sense. I know the 60 frame was a big deal. The earliest I can remember is when Gotham Knights came out. That's 30 frames on consoles, but 60 on PC. And the PC version is $10 cheaper. And the Xbox and PlayStation version is $10 more. You don't get 60 frames. That doesn't make sense. So, so I decided to jump on the IP, on the PC um, PC game. I got it for 750 I got it cheaper. with uh, I got the one-year warranty in-house. And I got some additional credits to burn it to 145-ish. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, so um, <clears throat> that's what I want. I just want to play a stable experience. I'm, my plan is to play 140, 60 frames. 60 frames are okay for me. Um, I got a monitor that's capped at 60. So that's why I prefer 60. My Xbox does 120. So if I really want to. So I don't know. Should I keep my... Um, should I keep my Xbox? I'm probably going to keep it while at the same time when I keep my PC, so uh, everything else. Uh, if you guys do have the uh, the 460 graphics, will you guys let me know if it's a good card or not? Um, there's a bunch of heat on YouTube, especially from the big YouTube channels and everything else. But, everything, but the other ones, the smaller channels, I guess, they're not really small, but they said you just got to tinker with the settings. You can get the optimal experience, but don't expect it to push... Uh, once uh, one four, uh, 1440 at 100 plus frames or 4k 30 frames that ain't gonna work so also read somewhere from reddit that um the this the 460 graphics card here is actually a modified version from uh Lavono. so you guys let me know if that's true or not it's the miniature tech a miniature uh, version of the 460 4060 so i don't know about that but I can't wait to get in my house. It should be delivered on Monday. I want to open that up, just take a peek at what's inside. Like what's the what's the um what's the uh capacity? What is the uh, you know the power supply look like? What's the graphics card look like? The mini version has one fan, so that I can tell right off the bat if it's the regular one which has two fans. Or the mini version has one fan according to the website. So that's from Reddit, so I don't know if it's true. Don't take anything for granted, do your own research. So I'm looking forward to it, getting my first PC. Thanks, guys. Bye.